okay, sister? Well, I'm alive, senor. Although, come to think of it, I just committed a mortal sin. Claim self-defense. Always works for me. Yes, well, I fear my judges may be a little more stringent than yours. Uh, but I appreciate the advice. Unfortunately, many of my nuns are not so resourceful as you or I. Their innocence will kill them, which is truly a terrifying reality. I would not know. I think maybe you would. But let us leave the psychotherapy and focus on more pressing matters. They are locked in the church, while hordes of, of, of these half-witted demons are, are trying to get to them. It'd be my pleasure. You're a true Samaritan, sir. You know, they say the devil has all the best tunes. It may be so, but it seems he also has the most half-witted friends. So you know Bill Williamson, then? Excuse me? Just a little joke. I'll do as best as I can to save the nuns. Sister, I've done as you asked. Bless you. But it's not sister. It's Mother Superior. Mother Superior Calderon. Our bishop was a stickler for regulations. <laughs> Until he got sick last week and ate half of the cathedral choir boys. I'm sorry. I only mention it because my girls are laughing at you calling me sister. What do you think is causing all this? Hmm. Déjame ver. Mexico is an old country. Many faiths have lived and died here. Many evil spirits have flourished. I have no idea what is afflicting the people here. But I know it is a sickness of the soul. Something supernatural, maybe. Certainly nothing rational. Perhaps if you were to get me alive one of these creatures, we could try a couple of experiments. Certainly. Get me a new one. One who was recently human. 
I want to work with a subject who has only recently turned. I'll see what I can find for you. Gracias, señor. <laughs> Shh, cállense. No puedo creer cómo se portan. Superior, I think I have a test case for you. Senor Marstone, you're a true pilgrim. That I ain't. Hmm. Now let's see. <laughs> well, it certainly isn't the flu. Their eyes are so devoid of love, of, of anything. <laughs> oh, lively one I see. Here. What is that? Holy water. I think we may have something. It seems to be working. Maybe. Maybe not. But it seems as if he were nearly saved. Spiritual infections are confusing things, Senor Marston. None of us can hope to understand them properly. But he came back for a minute. I bless the water, but perhaps my faith is not that strong. I have to do more thinking, but I need time. Every day, more of my people fall as the dead rise in Sepulcro. Then perhaps it's time I put them to rest. Take the holy water. Maybe it will be a calming balm for the restless departed. Thank you. No, thank you. You are a blessing in an unusual form.
Ay, qué bueno. Señor Marston, how wonderful to see you alive. I think I've cleared Sepulcro. You're a brave servant of righteousness. I've been called many things in my time, but never that. <laughs> Who is that girl, by the way? She? I don't know. She said she was in a holy order in Escalera. I'm sure I keep seeing her. Or someone like her. Maybe. But it is a common enough look. Seemed like a nice girl. She told me something interesting. What's that? She blamed this terrible curse on our soon-to-be president, Abraham Reyes. Perhaps you have heard of him. Heard of him? I know him well. I hope that vain, ambitious, and repugnant parasite is no friend of yours. Not exactly. I didn't think he was that bad. And who am I to judge? Forgive me. I have just heard many unpleasant stories and met too many pregnant and abandoned girls. Of course. But what has he done? She claimed he had angered an ancient goddess, disturbed a crypt and a temple in her honor. <laughs> I mean, as I say it, it sounds like heresy, like the idiotic delusions of a cursed people. But in a land such as this, I have learned to be less dogmatic than maybe I have been instructed. I am sure it is just folly. Perhaps. Well, maybe it's time I go pay El President a visit anyway. I shall pray for you. Someone certainly needs to. Goodbye, Mother Superior. Vaya con Dios, mijo. <laughs>